secret that he had access to? Was this some crypto shit? Probably, right? Is the, the cryptocurrency stuff? Is that what it was? My man is literally known for making an antivirus that's like impossible to delete from your computer. Okay, that's it. He got a bag and then he lived his best libertarian life. I love him for that reason. He is like an honest libertarian, okay? He loved getting shit on, literally. I don't mean literally in like the Zoomer sense. I mean like quite literally, he loved getting poop in his mouth. And if he were still around today, he'd say he loves the top of the hour, every hour, 60 second ad breaks. Yeah. He loved unavoidable ads. But you might not be able to delete Norton antivirus, but you can avoid the ad breaks at the top of the hour. Now, how can you do that, Hassan? Well, you can do that by subscribing for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. Is it Norton antivirus? McAfee antivirus. Sorry. Fuck. I said Norton. Uh, damn. The disrespect. Yeah, you can by using a VPN or by using an ad blocker or by just subscribing for free with a Twitch Prime. You can avoid the ad breaks way better than you can avoid the McAfee uh, antivirus software. Here's the ad now. He's one of the most notorious cybersecurity entrepreneurs in the world who made millions off of his antivirus software. In 2012, amid allegations of murder, he fled his then home of Belize to Guatemala, where he faked a heart attack to avoid deportation. <laughs> he eventually made his way back into the US and rose to prominence once again as a 2016 Libertarian presidential candidate. To this day, he remains a controversial figure, and he's here with me now. John. McAfee? McAfee, but yeah. it doesn't matter. For people watching at home in their mother's basements, uh, they don't necessarily see that you have, can I reveal that you have security guards? Of course, absolutely. So you have Everybody one, knows it. two, three gentlemen. Actually four if Jimmy's here. Do you fear death? <laughs> no, not at all. Despite the military presence around yeah, you? But that doesn't mean I fear it. That simply means I choose not to voluntarily wander into it. Let's talk about McAfee 2.0. What's that? You now. I would call it 400.0 or something. I mean, I have reinvented myself. But you call it too, that's fine. That, that would be the newsman's perspective. News person. News person. What does that mean? Uh, women also work in the news. So news man is kind of reductive. I know, but listen, you need, to, you need to cut me just a little slack because number one, I am 72. You don't look it. You look like you're in your mid-40s. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, my gosh, in that case. <laughs> well, I'm going to call it news lady. Well, that's also condescending. But news person, you're right. You know why? It's an extra f***ing syllable. Too much effort to make 52% of the population see themselves in an aspirational way. I, please, I apologize. <laughs> You're putting me down tremendously well, and, and I, I, admire, I admire your intelligence and, and drive. You recently announced that you were <laughs> running for so president funny. in 2020. Why? I ran in 2016. I didn't succeed to the level that I, that I desired. For those who don't know, what is a libertarian other than a... For the record, like... This is the real life Tony Stark. The real life Tony Stark is not. The real life Tony Stark is not fucking uh, Elon Musk. The reason why I love this man or loved this man is because this is what libertarians are like in the wild. Okay. This is a libertarian who stayed true to his degenerate uh, opinions and stayed true to his beliefs. Okay. Uh, white guy too cheap to pay for birth control. <laughs> <laughs> a libertarian. You are a free individual. Free to do and think and believe 
as you choose. In 2016, you lost to Gary Johnson. Yes. How did that feel to lose the unpopular vote? I didn't feel like anything. <laughs> I, had, I had a good nine months of national attention because really, that's all that matters to me. Did you think Trump was going to be president? Yes, I hoped he was actually because the alternative was not very palatable to me. Did you and think he... I will he... not tell you why because it will implicate me in horror. Sounds situations. like you're asking me to inquire, but I'm not I going am. to... I am actually because I'm not sure I'm going to say it or not. Do well, it understand? sounds like you're egging me on to ask I you. Am. I want to... Respect your privacy. I am actually, because I'm not sure I will say it. I've never said it ever, ever. Well, if you not want in, me Not to... in six f***ing years since I left Belize have I ever stated why. Do you want to? Absolutely. Okay, well then, you're welcome. Okay, so then, when I went on the run in Belize... <laughs> this is so good. She's doing a bit. He's not, okay? He is like this. Like, this is how he is, dude. It's great. Please inquire about what I cannot say, the unspeakable truths that I'm literally dying to say. This man is fucking insane. Oh, dude, no. Some would have you believe he was the most sane, dude. I had friends in the U.S. Embassy in Belize. I knew I was coming down. I'm not stupid. I had arranged with the head of security. I was going to come in. He said, sir, we have it from the highest authority. We are not to allow you entry into the U.S. Embassy. Understand me. Who was the highest authority of the State Department? Hillary Clinton. I'm an American citizen with a f***ing American passport. I'm sorry. I'm not wanted in America. I've got no crimes in America. Is it not a reason to say, I don't think I'm going to vote for you? And yet you're here now. I, for a month and a half, I was on the run. The reason... Wow, that, dude. It's crazy. That ...the government wanted to collect me was that after they had raided my property in 2012 in the jungle, shot my dog, abused me, destroyed a half million dollars worth of my property over a bogus charge, I was pissed off. And so I, I donated uh, to many secretaries within the government laptop uh. computers, really nice ones, that were preloaded with viral spyware. Within a week, the entire government computer system was in, under my control. I was watching, monitoring, listening. I was looking for information that they had set me up for that raid. I didn't find that. I did find out that the Minister of National Defense was the largest drug trafficker in all of Central America. And the Minister of Immigration, the largest human trafficker. We don't want to get killed by them either, so we're probably not. <laughs> okay, first of all, this is, the, this is the beauty of John McAfee, okay? First of all, most sane libertarian, okay? Most sane libertarian. Now, why I, what, I, what I find incredible about what he's saying is that, like, first of all, I do literally believe that the American cybersecurity protocols are so devastatingly poor that I, I unironically do believe that someone could literally do this, like what he's talking about, okay? Like a fishing expedition with... Uh, with just donated computers. Like, that would not surprise me in the least bit. Oh, he's talking about the Belize government. Oh, never mind. Oh, then I totally do. Uh, I, I totally uh, see whether uh, that happened or not. I, I, I misunderstood. I think it could definitely happen in uh, uh, the American government as well. But... Having said that, I don't understand. Is he saying that, like, um, that the, the Department of Immigration in Belize is the largest human trafficker? Is that what he's saying? Or he, He's saying that America, he found out from the Belize government that... Over a bogus charge, I was pissing. You're here now. Is it not a reason to say, I don't think... I'm why would he, why would, like, the government of Belize have this information? No, he's saying it was America. I want to vote for you. And yet you're here now. I, for a month and a half, I was on the run. The reason that the government wanted to collect me was that after they had raided my property in 2012 in the jungle, shot my dog, abused me, destroyed a half million dollars worth of my property over a bogus charge, I was pissed off. And so I, I donated uh, to many secretaries within the government 
laptop computers, really nice ones that were preloaded with viral spyware. Within a week, the entire government computer system was in, under my control. I was watching, monitoring, listening. I was looking for information that they had set me up for that raid. I didn't find that. I did find out that the Minister of National Defense was the largest drug trafficker in all of Central America. And the Minister of Immigration, the largest human trafficker. We don't want to get killed by them either, so we're probably not going to that. That's fine. That's fine. It was getting a little hot in John McAfee's compound, so we decided to step outside. Cheers. To you. To you. Let's get into Bitcoin. Okay. Explain Bitcoin to me in terms you would use if it were real. It is real. You tweeted that if the price of Bitcoin doesn't go to a million dollars by 2020... I will eat my member, yes. You will eat your own Eat my dick. No, I may choose the mode if I choose to get a, a Bangkok prostitute uh, and ask her, would you please eat my dick over the next five years? That's fine. That's different than eating your own dick. Is it now? Because if a Bangkok prostitute ate your dick, you wouldn't be eating your own dick. Do I not have the privilege of, of, of subordinating my task to a subordinate? To someone who doesn't know a lot about Bitcoin. Dude, I love libertarian. <laughs> oh. oh, come on, dude. I'm giving a, a, a subordinate the privilege. Like, yeah, when I said I'll eat my own dick, what I actually meant was I'll have my dick sucked by a prostitute from Bangkok. Bitcoin. Yes. It sounds like you, John McAfee, want to eat your own eating my dick is not not something that that is is uh, is difficult for me eating it i have no interest in doing that so it isn't that you john mcafee want to eat your own dick. it's that you believe in the power of bitcoin so much so that you'll put your dick on the table chop it up put it in your mouth swallow if bitcoin does not if it doesn't reach at least a million dollars by the end of 2020. What if, God forbid, you get prostate cancer, have to remove your dick anyway? Well, I won't be able to eat it, will I? Well, you can have the surgeon put it aside and then you can eat it, but well, either I, I, way... I don't think people would expect me to eat a two-year-old dead dick. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. If John McAfee is to eat it, <laughs> it's going to be the freshest dick And right eat it away. raw like I eat sushi. Farm to table, to mouth. Farm to table. If you could murder someone else, who would it be? <laughs> Wait, I wonder. Yeah, he killed himself to get out of the dick eating. There you go, boys. We solved the mystery. Why? It would be the entire leadership of the Sinaloa cartel. Off the record, did you kill your neighbor in Belize? I did not. Why don't we take a bathroom break? Keep your mic on. Feel free to... <laughs> like uh, the HBO fucking miniseries. <laughs> Keep your mic on so that we can hear you while you're in the bathroom talking to your wife about murdering everybody, including all the people here on the set. Right? No. Uh, that was funny. I'm sorry. That was a joke. It's so funny if you didn't all have guns. I have done this so many times. Do you think that I would forget that I am wired and mic'd and I'm going to say something while I'm in the bathroom? Please, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, but go ahead. Let's say I'm a female voter. I'm fed up with both the Democrats and the Republicans. That was... I don't know. That's like, haha, it's funny. Except he did literally murder his neighbor. So... And also, he's, she's, she is under threat now. <laughs> no, you're wanted for murder in Belize. How do you win my vote? Well, first of all, I'll tell you, I fled Belize because they were wanting to collect me for a person of that interest. Belize, That's a person all. of interest. But I'm not a politician, and I don't have to be one. I'm just a human being running for president. What are your thoughts on the Me Too movement? The Me Too movement? Do you Actually, this chatter is correct. He did not murder his neighbor. He let a subordinate handle it. That is true. Um, believe that alleged victims of assault should be believed? I got a piece so bad. Okay, I'll be back in a second. I have been assaulted more than any man on this planet that's still alive. Do I complain? 
No. So that's a no? You share many qualities with President Trump. You're both iconic American brands. You both have been accused of sexual assault. And you both have been rumored to engage in sex play with bodily waste. Why should Americans vote for you? Well, obviously, forcibly forcing myself on someone, that would be an issue. But that's absolutely untrue. As to the rest, what I do sexually, please God, is that not my business? Your body, Who, your choice. It's my body, my choice. Why the, you keep touching your gun? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I always do that. Does that concern you? Yeah. Why? No, please. No, no, I'm sorry, because my hand goes there. Everything okay? You guys are cool? If all these right. guys are not cool, we're all in trouble. <laughs> okay, what is, okay, hypothetically, please don't shoot. What well, would the hand signal be if you were in trouble? It would be like... No. It's okay. Okay. All right, so... No. If uh, you're in trouble, I'm part of them. Okay. I, I'm okay. not letting these bastards yes. take all the heat. All right. Why? I'm one additional Do gun. you think... Now, please don't uh, pull out your firearm again without telling yes, me. I'm sorry. Um... Do you Wait, think what did that he do? you should have a firearm on you and, and while you're drinking? Yes, I okay. do. Women get shit on a lot in our culture. You know what that's like. I do. I think you... Wait, he pulled out his gun? My business? Your body, Who, your choice. It's my body, my choice. Why the, you keep touching your gun? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I always do that. Does that concern you? Yeah. Why? No, please. No. No, I'm sorry, because my hand goes there. Everything okay? You guys are cool? If all these right. guys are not cool, we're all in trouble. <laughs> okay, what is... Okay, hypothetically, please don't shoot. What the, would the hand signal be if you were in trouble? It would be like... No. It's okay. Okay. All right, so... No. If uh, you're in trouble, I'm part of them. Okay. Oh my god, he can't even fucking reholster it, dude! What the fuck?! Uh, okay. I'm not letting these Bro, he's literally too drunk to reholster it. Oh fucking Christ, dude. Yo, sane is libertarian once again, boys. These bastards yes. take all the heat. All right. Why? I'm one additional Do gun. you think now please don't uh pull out your firearm again I without telling yes, me. I'm sorry. Um do you think that you should have a firearm on you and, and while you're drinking? Yes, I okay. do. Women get shit on a lot in our culture. You know what that's like. I do. I think you would make a better president than Donald Trump. <laughs> John McAfee is a Washington outsider who's tired of politics as usual. A tech entrepreneur, alleged murderer, and businessman who might not grab you by the pussy. If you're a woman thinking about voting for Donald Trump in 2020, think again. Women get shit on a lot in our culture, and I know what that tastes like. John? Yes. That was beautiful. Yes. I'd like it again a little softer, and I'd also like you to mention that you're pro-choice. Right. This is, this is actually going way better than I thought. I, I don't think these people are trying to f us. I don't. I think that they're truly going to do one of the greatest documentaries. Let me warm it up. Jenna Friedman said, I didn't really know him. I didn't really know him and don't want to say much considering allegations against him, but in my experience, he was funny and charismatic and the people in his life seemed happy to be there. I hope he's at peace now or at least eating shit on some island off the grid. RIP, hashtag McAfee. I mean, he's crazy. I, he, he is a... He is a a truly fascinating person. A dying breed. Uh, definitely. You know, like, old school, like, Archer kind of points to this a little bit. Like, old school, like, in the 60s, 70s, there was a type of guy who, like, went and fucking operated a brothel in Bangkok or Thailand or whatever. Like, this is that kind of libertarian. And quite literally a dying breed. Too weird to live, too rare to die. He's gonna come back in 20 years with an alien baby. What's up? And this is Turner Broadcasting. I mean, this is huge. Hundreds of millions 
of viewers. Now, this is, this is some big shit here. He's literally a pedo? Dude, we already know he's a libertarian. Like, you don't need to repeat it. Okay? What a redundancy. Like, I, I'm so confused by why you are adamant about repeating this redundancy for some reason. I mean, he is a right libertarian, bro. That's it. So, there is a four-part documentary on the life of of John McAfee that is pretty good from what I understand and I want to watch it now I've watched many documentaries on John McAfee so I already know that uh, I don't even know if I can watch this now the reason why I say this is because much like American imperialism and American imperialist history everything that John McAfee has done is a violation of the terms of service on Twitch everything like, from hiring prostitutes to take fat shits in his mouth on a hammock to murdering his neighbor to just pretty much everything he did all the time. They are all violations of uh, Twitch's terms of service. So I am a little worried about watching this, but I will... I will watch it regardless because I am brave. The last thing he posted was a Q and he held metadata leading to vaccine 5G research. Yeah, his dead man switch or whatever the fuck was uh, an Instagram post uh, with Q and a bunch of like weird shit, I think, that they uncovered on 4chan maybe. Wait, Jenna talked to him while he was in prison? No way. Election day is coming up, and I hope you are all planning on voting. I know a lot of nerds are probably already telling you to vote, and when I do it, I just sound like your mom telling you to make sure that you wash your hands after you go poo-poo. But that's because she was right, and none of us listened to her. And now we're all trapped in our homes making low-budget web shows as we wait out a global pandemic. So just listen to mom and or me, who's probably the same age as her, and vote, please. I'm not gonna tell you who to vote for. Boring. Potato might. <laughs> we both eat poop, McAfee 2020. This next guest is in his 70s and thinks COVID is a hoax. So I'm really glad we got him on the show before it was too late. Cautionary tale and man responsible for fucking up your mom's desktop, John McAfee. For those people who don't know you, which I assume is most people, what would you say is the secret to your success? Success is being able to talk to people and not give a flying fuck what they think. Are you pro-life besides the two men you killed? <laughs> no, I'm not proud of life. Absolutely not. I mean, Do you have any advice for aspiring politicians who've also been accused of sexual assault? Okay, the, the, uh, this, this is over. I'm sorry. What do you the, want to talk about, John? Well, the most insightful thing, I think, is knitting. Can we talk about that first? I mean, I've taken more drugs than God. And grandmothers knit. Look at their lives. Can't walk anymore. Their knees are bad. They haven't had a dick in 25 fucking years. I mean, and hit. Whose fault is that, John? I'll fuck any grandmother that comes by. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how old are the women you fuck? On a scale of one to ten, how? Oh my god, bro, she's so funny. What the fuck? Old? I'm sorry, it's a bad scale. Repeat the question, Jenna. What are your thoughts on the death penalty when someone hasn't killed your dog? <laughs> Oh, dude, this is, this is very good. Like, this is very, very good. She's the, the fucking hilarious. The penalty is a government-mandated um, uh, issue. Um, 
and whatever and that person is killed or done i think there should be a death penalty for example for wearing masks because what signal are you sending to our children that doesn't mean that it's going to happen but yes if i i would put that as number one wear a mask socially distance yourself yes there should be a death penalty for that there's currently a death penalty for not wearing your mask it's only on other people Oh, I see. Well, you really are funny. It's just that you don't come across that way. Stay safe, Dan <laughs> McAfee. Please okay. wear a mask. <laughs> I care about your health. <laughs> Potato, why do you like McAfee? Just because you can sit at a bar and eat a piece of shit with him doesn't mean he's a good leader. Why does everyone have to be friends with their president? Notice how different his demeanor is now. I mean, is it? Because, like, he's been... He's been deranged for a long-ass time. Get her on the show. Who is she? Jenna what? Uh, Jenna Friedman. She's pretty funny. 